So you must understand, there are certain people you know, who think that only Quran is the Wahi. No, Quran is verbal revelation. There were extra revelations, extra Wahi to the Prophet ﷺ through dreams, through inspiration. Because Prophet ﷺ gave many orders on the basis of that inspiration that he was getting continuously from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And let me quote here, you know, because this has become a very controversial issue these days. There are people who say, we believe in Quran and that's all. We don't want, we don't need Hadith, we don't need Sunnah. The function of the Prophet was only to convey the word of Allah to humanity. That word of Allah is there with us in the form of Quran. There's no need of Hadith, there's no need of Sunnah. This has become a universal, you know, misguidedness, a very big mistake because people want to follow the West in their attitudes, in their lifestyle and you know the Sunnah of the Prophet, the Hadith that comes in the way, they want to do away with it. That's a big fitna of our time, in Kare Hadith, refuse to accept Sunnah or Hadith. So there is a hadith which has been reported by Abu Dawood, Ibn Majah, Darmi, Rahimahumullah, three muhaddisin. And the reporter, the companion of the Prophet who reported is Miqdam ibn Ma'di Karb, radiyallahu ta'ala an. The Prophet said, Ala inni utitu al-Qur'ana wa mislahu ba'ahu. Beware. I have been given Quran and another thing which is like it in addition to it. Allah inni uti tul Qurana wa mislahu ba'ahu. Allah yushiku rajulun shab'anu. Allah arikatihi yakul alaykum bihad al Quran. I fear there will be some person sitting on his couch and he will say, Follow only this Quran. Fama wajatu fihe min halal in failu. Whatever you find in it is permissible halal, you also take it as halal. Mama wajatu fihe min haram in far remu. And whatever you find in Quran that it is haram, take it to be haram. Wa in nama harama rasulullah kama harama Allah. Take it from me that the Messenger of Allah has also declared haram something just as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has declared haram. Additional, the very simple example is that Quran says that you cannot have two sisters in marriage simultaneously. There is polygamy in Islam, it's allowed. You can have four wives at a time, but not two sisters. One tajmarul ukhtain. And the Prophet said, the same hurma will be for an aunt and the niece. And what should you call, you know, khala and bhanji. A, a woman and the sister of her mother, they can't be in the nikah, in marriage of one person simultaneously. And a woman and the sister of her father, they cannot be in marriage of one person simultaneously. Just as two sisters cannot be, but Quran declares only about two sisters. The Prophet has added two more relations. So actually, but this is due to inspiration from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there is something more which was given to the Prophet than Quran.